As climate change worsens and fossil fuels run out, finding new green energy sources is of the essence. The world's first large-scale e-methanol facility in Kassa, Denmark, is trying to foster the green transition. E-methanol is made using renewable energy by splitting a water atom with an electrolyzer and then combining the pure hydrogen in a reactor tower with biogenic carbon dioxide. European Energy, the company that co-owns the facility, intends for e-methanol to be a green alternative to traditional methanol made with fossil fuels. The world market today is 100 million tons of methanol. Uh, and part of the consumers of that uh, wants to green uh, their supply chain. So it can be in shipping for fuel, which is actually new for methanol. That's even an additional use of methanol. Decarbonizing the shipping sector, which has grown to account for about 3% of global emissions, is a focus for global leaders and an issue set to be discussed at COP30 in Belém, Brazil on Monday. E-methanol could help green the industry by replacing the large amount of fossil fuels used by vessels to transport cargo across the globe. However, environmental experts warn it may not be a cost-effective solution. Given the electricity is green, the the e-methanol is also green. But this is also a very energy demanding and therefore expensive technology. And we can get five times higher climate benefit from using the, the green electricity to power, for example, an electric car compared to using it for, for e-methanol. European Energy CEO Eric Anderson says the company expects price parity with fossil fuels by 2030. Even so, the facility's current e-methanol production capacity is 40,000 tons annually, a ways away from replacing the 100 million ton global market for methanol produced with fossil fuels.